Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's ICU, and today we're going to be discussing jailbreaking, specifically the forthcoming Electra tool that will be capable of jailbreaking 11.3.1 .1 and lower. Now, if you're like me and you're waiting on that jailbreak, be sure to give this video a huge thumbs up. Also, click that subscribe button and ding the notification bell below next to the channel name to ensure that you are notified anytime we release update videos pertaining to the jailbreak, and we'll, of course, have first coverage once it's out. Now, let's get into this video. Unfortunately, it is a mixed bag of good and bad news. Now, if you'll remember from watching our last jailbreak update video, we discussed information from Ming Spark Zing that proved to not be 100% accurate. If you'll remember, he claimed that hacker Morpheus, who was previously working on the last component required for the Electra 11.3.1 jailbreak, the remount fix, was going to be done with said fix soon probably even this week, which, as many of you know, is the last piece of the puzzle before the jailbreak gets released. So it made sense, logically speaking, that the jailbreak could be released within the week. Unfortunately, that's not going to happen. Things have already changed, as they tend to do within the jailbreak community, rather rapidly. So I'm sorry if we misled you guys in any way. As you know, that is not our intention here on the channel whatsoever. This channel has always been geared toward providing you with the latest and the most accurate accurate jailbreak related news as it's unfolding. So with that said, let's go ahead and get into today's information. I'm just going to go over to Hacker Morpheus's page here really quick, and we're going to discuss this first tweet that he posted the other day. He said, quote, people, A, I am not working with Coolstar or anyone else. B, I'm doing this on my own spare time for free, no donations or anything either. C, I owe you nothing. D, this is my last priority after real life and my paying job, don't wait on me and do not harass me, period. So a pretty blunt tweet from Morpheus. He was getting extremely aggravated from all the people pestering him for that remount fix since it is the last thing required before Electra is released. And after that tweet, just yesterday, Coolstar started talking about the remount fix and how he is going to assume the responsibility of preparing that himself along with the other members of the Electra team. So starting out with the first tweet in question, he actually said, quote, We'll have to see if we can patch up some iOS kernels to test remounting more easily with the assistance of Corellium, which, as some of you may already know, is a virtualization tool to be able to test out certain things without actually having the device on the specified firmware. And he also said, quote, as we might end up having to tackle the remount issue ourselves, and it would be nice if we could save our own zero day or previously undisclosed exploit for iOS 12. And I totally agree with him. That would be fantastic if they could save that exploit for iOS 12, which would mean that a brand new iOS 12 jailbreak in the future would be easier after we already have this jailbreak, which will likely be the last jailbreak for iOS 11, because of course we're all going to want to jailbreak on iOS 12 once that is pushed out in the fall. And then in a subsequent tweet, he said, quote, remember a zero day saved for iOS 12 can be backported to 11.3.1, .1, but a zero day burned on 11.3.1 .1 may not work on iOS 12 as Apple will probably end up patching it even though it doesn't really affect device security. Also, super annoying Apple signing window BS. So I totally agree with him there. It would be best to save this because, of course, zero day means undisclosed. So if an exploit goes undisclosed to Apple, chances are good they won't patch it in iOS 12 unless, of course, it is already released in a jailbreak, then they can reverse engineer it and patch it so it can't be used in the future. So it would be fantastic if they could actually avoid using that zero day exploit. We simply don't know what they're going to do. All we do know is that they are going to work on the remount issue themselves. And for the final tweet from Coolstar in question today, quote, we Electra team are working on fixing Sparks bypass ourselves now. Please lay off Morpheus as we are working on it ourselves now. So they're tackling that remount issue fix for the iOS 11.3.x file system. Morpheus is no longer working on it. This could be good news. It could be bad news. It might mean that the remount fix will come sooner, especially since Morpheus said that it was his dead last priority. Of course, Coolstar is still a busy individual. He is still, of course, doing it in his spare time, just like Morpheus, but it might come out faster now, especially since he has assumed that responsibility. But I'm not going to lie to you guys. There is no ETA, and we simply don't know when this is going 
going to happen. It could be within a few days, could be within a few weeks. We just don't know. I will, however, keep you updated fully along the way on absolutely everything pertaining to the jailbreak. And there also is one last bit of information that I wanted to discuss. I'm not going to directly link to the tweet really in this video or actually picture it simply because I don't want to get you guys too hyped, but there is a very small possibility that we might get a full-fledged untethered jailbreak on iOS 11.3.1. There is a security researcher who actually posted out two different bugs that he found with inside the launch daemons of iOS. Now, for those of you who don't know, launch daemons are essentially background processes that get started up with your device as it's rebooting. And if you might not know what an untethered jailbreak is, let me also give you some additional background information before actually going any further. So untethered jailbreaks essentially mean that your device doesn't require the assistance of anything to actually maintain its untethered jailbroken state. As of late, all of the jailbreaks that we've received make use of an on-device application to jailbreak that utilize our own Apple accounts to sign them simply because it saves additional exploits and additional steps required in creating a jailbreak because now they no longer have to tackle the unsigned code execution issue with a jailbreak. But what that means is that the jailbreak simply isn't untethered because the kernel isn't patched upon reboot. Well, it's unclear whether this could definitively lead to a jailbreak as the individual who discovered it stated he doesn't have experience in the realm he just simply discovered those two launch daemon bugs that could potentially be exploited keep in mind they're not exploited yet he is planning on releasing a write-up hopefully someone can actually take what he's found and build upon that and we might get a full-fledged untethered jailbreak for 11.3.x but like I said I don't want to get your hopes up just be sure to stay tuned for complete information and details on all of that. And finally, as we start to wrap up today's video, I just wanted to let you know to check out the one we posted earlier. It will be linked in your cards right now, as well as down below in the description if you want to recover any data that you may have inadvertently lost from a backup, whether it be through iTunes or iCloud. It's a pretty awesome service. And finally, if you're like me and you're constantly checking to see if a jailbreak has been released, this last bit you'll find extremely useful. It is on besttechinfo.com and it is just an automatic updating jailbreak status checker. Immediately when you navigate to this URL, which will be linked in your cards right now, as well as down below in the description, it will state whether or not a jailbreak has been released and the latest information surrounding the development of the jailbreak if you want further details. So that is a fantastic resource for you guys. I highly recommend bookmarking it and or adding it to your favorites so you can quickly and constantly refresh it because it is always auto updating. Now that wraps up everything I want to discuss in today's video. Let me know down below in the comment section what your thoughts are and how you're passing the time while waiting for this jailbreak, which unfortunately is taking longer than initially expected. Again, like I said, subscribe for full coverage and until next time, this is ICU signing out.